What is the pinnacle of murder? That is to treat living people as seeds, planted in the ground. Three school kids, on a wild adventure, found the tree hand, growing on the ground. And each hand has an infusion tube, inserted. This makes the mushrooms on the side grow very lush. The police immediately started excavating. When Will gets to the scene, this place has been blocked by the police. The police found a total of nine bodies, but the degree of decay varies for each corpse. Jack found a hidden tire mark at the scene. There are also many traps set up around to trap wild animals. Obviously, the killer doesn't want his crops to be disturbed by outside. Forensic inference. These people should be alive when they were planted. He deliberately buried these people in fertile soil. Also made them a simple oxygen mask and inject special nutrient. Accelerate its decay. Adds nutrients to surrounding mushroom community. To destroy the evidence of his crime facing with this situation. All the police officers are in trouble. Then Will closes his eyes. Exerted his empathy ability. Step back. Will starts to simulate all the details of the killer at the time in crime. But at this moment Will's fantasies are exploding again. He saw Hobbs who had already died. Next second. The surround police quickly stepped forward to rescue, but the victim soon lost vital signs. The successive hallucinations made Will was very worried. He went to Hannibal again, hoping to get his help. Will told Hannibal everything he had seen recently. Hannibal explained, this is due to the effects of mental overload. Everyone releases an endorphin when they kill. It was this secretion that caused Will to hallucinate. It's not a big deal and no treatment is necessary. Followed by Hannibal helped Will to analyze the mushroom case. Hannibal asks Will, why did the murderer expose the body's arms? Is it just to make these people experience the feeling? of soul leaving their body? Or maybe the murderer has some perverted hobby. Will said, the murderer buried the body in good soil and planted wild mushrooms on each corpse, keeping these people alive with intravenous injections. But they are not cultivated crops. Instead, it provides fertilizer for the growth of crops. The structure of a fungus mirrors that of the human brain, an intricate web of connections. Maybe he admires their ability to connect the way human minds can't. Yours can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... And <laughs> not physically. Is that what your farmer is looking for? Some sort of connection? Hannibal's words inspired Will. He immediately went back to the forensic lab, starting re-examination of all corpses. Sure enough, this inspection made new discoveries. Forensic found, although the dead body was covered with mushrooms, not died from the growth of mushrooms, but died of kidney failure in diabetes. Will formally infer, these victims should have serious diabetes. The killer is most likely a doctor or a technician. He put these people to fall in coma by switching the drugs, then bury them alive. Use sugar to sustain life. Keeping circulatory provides steady stream nutrients for entire mushrooms. Now the police have destroyed all his mushroom fields. He definitely will get a new plantation. Then, the police immediately launched an investigation, soon locked down a suspect. But when Jack revealed his identity to search for Alden, he disappeared from his position just now. Then Will and Eldon's trunk found a victim buried in the ground. Because of the timely rescue, the victim's life was not put in danger. Then Jack found a previously published revealing article on Alden's computer. It says the most ridiculous FBI in America sending a mental illness to investigate the mushroom case. It contains many details that the police haven't disclosed. It is also this revealing article, make Alden detect abnormalities, and escaped. Angry Jack immediately led to find the tabloid reporter Kimber. Jack warns Kimber not to write any more articles about Will, for disclosing case secrets and hindering the police. Otherwise, will take and put her into men's prison. Let her experience the feeling of air leap when crouching, in order to save to protect herself. Had no choice but to succumb to Jack's threats. Next day, cop suspended for helping of Kimber leak secrets. Find Kimber and seek a bargain. Next second. I read your article. Tell me about Will Graham. When Jack gets here, Alden has already escaped. Kimber said, Alden has been asking about Will's wearer. He said both humans and mushrooms share common characteristic. The thinking of both is mutated and evolved from brain to brain. He thinks, Will is the one who helped him achieve his plan. What did you tell him? Everything. He wants to help Will Graham connect with Abigail Hobbs. He's gonna bury her. Meanwhile, Eldon has arrived at the hospital. He sneaked into locker room, put on a surgical gown, ready to start his plan. On the side, Jack immediately called Will. But when Will arrives, Abby had disappeared. Where is she? Abigail Hobbs, a girl in 408. Where is she? We took her for tests. Who took her? I, I don't know. Realized something wrong, Will started looking around. Sure enough, he found Eldon around a corner. In order to prevent any accident, Will shot decisively. The bullet hit Eldon's shoulder with precision. Eldon dropped his weapon in pain. After trolling the situation, Will asks Eldon the right he kidnapped Abby. Well, you would have. You would have. If you walk through a field of mycelium, they know you are there. They know you are there. The spores reach for you as you walk by. 
I know who you're reaching for. I know. Abigail Hobbs. You should have let me plant her. You would have found her in a field where she was finally able to reach back. While silently listens to these strange theories, a conversation between two neuropaths seems so harmonious. With the help of Hannibal, Will has cracks another serial murder case, but his condition seems to be getting worse. So he went to Hannibal again for psychotherapy, and that gave Hannibal the chance to reform him. It wasn't the act of killing Hobbs that got you down, was it? Did you really feel so bad because killing him felt so good? I like killing Hobbs. Killing must feel good to God, too. He does it all the time. And are we not created in his image? You ask. God's terrific. He dropped a church roof on 34 of his worshippers last Wednesday night in Texas while they sang a hymn. God feels good about that. He felt powerful. Well, completely immersed in the lies Hannibal made up, and the part that represents his humanity is gradually entering the abyss of purgatory.